Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a fun little astronomy project I call Constellation Cups, where you just use paper cups and a pin and a light, and you can make, project constellations onto a darkened wall. A fun project. I really love this because it's very simple and very easy to do. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. You can have it done in no time, and you'll learn about the constellations. And I, um, for this project, I give you everything you need. I even give you the little constellation cards so you can use these to pinprick your constellations. I'll show you more. Let's do the intro. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. So I didn't create this project. I was at a st an astronomy event, and I saw this project being done, and I thought, wow, what a wonderful little project. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do it myself and share it around. It's worth sharing. I also make some improvements to the project. And, well, you just need a few basic supplies, some paper cups of just about any size, and something to cut with, which actually is optional. So you can cut with a ring out of one cup. I'll show you why. You don't even have to do that. And something to punch holes in the paper cup with. I'm using a needle, but a um, push pin works quite fine for this. And a flashlight, and preferably a flashlight with a single bulb in it. Like they make these flashlights with like multiple bulbs. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? See all those bulbs? That can sometimes be a little bit problematic for this project. It, it makes it a little challenging. So get a flashlight with a single bulb. That one cost me a dollar. And print up the templates for the constellations on my website. It's totally free. It's a PDF. You can print it out. Look, there's a, all constellations. And even a blank one, you can make your own constellation. So I give you that for some basic constel real constellations in the night sky. A fun project. So let's let's do it. Let's make it. You cut out those circular disks. And I made them uh, a generous size. So that way you can adapt them to whatever size paper cup you're using for this project. And I'll show you what I mean. Because, you know, that way you didn't have to get a specific paper cup size. You can use whatever's on handy. And I think, you know, teachers are going to like this project because it's very basic, a little bit of learning, kind of fun. You do something, and you don't need a whole lot to get it done. You know, some cups and uh, push pins. So cut that out and see if, it, see if that size fits in your paper cup. Like this. See, it's a little big for that one. But it's okay for that one. But we're going to use the small paper cup. So I trimmed it down a little bit. And like I said, you know, I, um, I'll, I'm going to show you some... Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you improvements to this project that you might like. To make it even better. And I was really surprised. Really... You know, just a little pinhole in, in, in the cup really does project stars onto the wall. It's just kind of neat. I really was got a real kick out of this project. You know, from four to eight feet away, you know, it doesn't matter. You just have fun with it. So there you go. See, I trimmed it down a little bit so it fits on the small paper cup. Now you can actually, if you're doing like a group of people or a class or, you know, just cut them all out. And then go ahead and punch holes prick holes right through the cup where all the stars are on the little disc. See, and I had trouble with that pin. I should have used a thimble. But you can use a, um, like I said, a push pin. It's fine. And and safer. If, if you have little kids doing this project, push pins are better. So now, there it is, Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper. Now you can be done with this project. You make a bunch of cups. Make the, use the, all, do all the different constellations that I have for you. Or make some of your own. Like I said, see, try not to use that one. But if you have the option, use a single bulb. See, that's got a single bulb in it. And now let's try it. I'll show you what it looks like. 
And when you're doing it, don't point it straight at the bottom of the cup. Don't point the light at the bottom of the cup like that. Don't do that. Works better when you point it at the side of the cup like that. So you're filling that cup with light, and it's bouncing around and going through those pinholes, and it makes a better, better, much better um, pattern on the wall. Let's do it. I'll show you. So let me turn the lights out. And which constellation is that? Ursa Minor? And there we go. Neat. I did a few different ones. I did Orion too. But there you go. And you know, the darker the room, the better. Outdoors is good too, outdoors at night. But, you know, have fun with this. If you make this project, be sure you send me a um, picture. And I will send you a certificate of contribution and put the picture on my website. Now listen, give me a thumbs up. Oh, there's Orion right there. There we go. There's Orion. There. Now notice how the cup has a lot of glare to it, right? And that has an effect on the background light. And we can reduce that glare by doing a couple of things. And I'm going to show you. That's how we improve this project a little bit. You could wrap the outer edge. Uh, you can wrap the sides of the cup with aluminum foil. That would be good. Cover them with um, electrical tape. But here's a quick solution you can do that's usable on all the cups so you don't have to modify all the cups you can just modify one cup you make it a sleeve I'll show you cut the bottom out of it and it's a sleeve you can share around you can use it on all your different constellation cups here's a thought you know um, you can have kids guess which constellation it is they look at the constellation and by the shape of it, guess which one it is, or study to see what it is. So now that sleeve can go over any cup you want. So it, it reduces a lot of the ambient light coming from the cup. And it, it's dimmer. See, it's dimmer, which is better. Your, your, your stars will be brighter and will pop more around the wall. See the difference in the brightness? One more time. So anything to reduce that side brightness. And another thing you can do is, so now you can put it on any of your constellation cups. Make all the constellations and use that um, sheath. Now another thing you can do is, is before pinpricking the ends of the cups, paint the base like this black. And that also reduces ambient light. Now that, that front section doesn't project extra light where you don't want it. It just, just what goes through the pinholes. Do this before you do the pinholes. So that's a fun little project you can have the kids do. So anyway, I had so much fun with this project that I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a constellation projector <laughs> with 3x5 um, index cards. That this, this one projects further, and it's like a little unit, and it's just more, I don't know how you say, it's just a little bit more of a build, and this is my next video coming up. I love this little project. And of course, I will give you the constellations too. Thanks. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.